Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to make a freeform resin bowl. Now what I've got is I've got a bit of pa uh, plastic here and I will put the link to everything that I use in the description below. And what I will do before I start is I will draw using a marker pen a rough circle on here of around about the size of the bowl that I'm looking to make. Always make sure that you turn your plastic over because you don't want that marker pen to get inside your resin as you're pouring it. That's just your guide. The other thing is I always do on this thicker plastic is I always give it a quick spray of mold release. I've got everything ready now and I'm going to be using blue, yellow and a little bit of white in the actual bowl but on the edges of the bowl what I'm going to be using is these little gems. I'm going to pour some resin that I've already got mixed up into that pot and I'm not going to pour too much. I just need these gems to be completely coated in it and then I just take my spoon that is why I have the circle drawn on the other side of this piece of plastic because I find it helps me to get these in a place where I want them. Now we've got that far, what I'll do is I'm going to pour some clear resin and I'm really not bothered about the bubbles in this. Just going to ensure that that is spread out and hitting everywhere all around the edges of this circle and I'm using a very thick resin here I'm not using a really thin resin because a really thin resin will run everywhere white in first yellow I tend to go from light to the darker color On top of that, I will then go for another completely clear resin. You can either leave it like it is now and let that do its own thing, or as I'm going to do, I'm just gonna go over it with my heat gun. And what that will do is any bubbles that have come up to the top from where you've left it, that will not only pop those, but it will also move around this resin in here as well. And you might get a few cells pop up from it. I'm happy with that now because I do have a tendency to overdo it and then I spoil it completely. What I now will do is I will leave this for as long as it needs. Now I don't set a timer on this because it depends on the temperature outside, it depends on the temperature inside, how long this is gonna be. I will check this after three hours, then I will make a decision and see if it's soft enough to then start molding over the actual shape that I'm gonna mold it over. If it's not, and then I will check it every hour, and then if it, once it starts to get set, I'll start to check it every 15 minutes, and then I'll come to it. Now, if you do do, if you do do, if do do, if you leave it too long, then you can go over it with a heat gun and soften it up. It's really important to make sure that you use the right plastic because I made this bowl, how I made this bowl is on my members only site. I used the wrong plastic on this because I was trying to cheap out and I couldn't get the plastic out at all. But it does make a lovely pot. So if you want to check this out, check out the members area and you can see how I make this bowl. The other thing that's really, really important, and wherever this is sitting, it's sitting on a level surface because you want this to have an even coating of resin rather than all pile up at one side. And the other thing is, make sure that you cover it up. I'm covering it up now. I'll put a link to these in the description because you don't want any flies or anything getting on it and spoiling what you've done. Well, this has now been sitting for about four hours and I think it's about ready to be honest, but we'll we'll see. Now what I'm gonna put it on is, I've got this silicon mixing jug, it's a large one, and I've got this piece of PVC pipe that I use for these sorts of things. I just push that onto there like so, 
then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this plastic up like so, roughly put it into the middle like that, and then allow that to fall down and mold around the actual silicon cup. And this is going to definitely run. It is not 100% set. So there's definitely gonna be some running on this. I'm gonna put it into some creases that I actually want to see. I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully that is now at the right consistency. And we'll leave that now to set up. So this is the bowl and it will come off the silicone jug fairly easy. And it has come out quite pretty. So now what we have to do is we just have to remove this plastic because you can use this plastic over and over again i usually give it a bit of a clean first i do find it really does help by giving it a quick spray of mold release it just pulls out like so and there that's the bowl finished now there are one or two little bits that drips on it that i actually don't want so there's these ones here because I don't like the look of those. All I will do is I will just take a pair of scissors and I will take those off. Don't like that bit there, that's a, bit, that's a bit sharp. And as you can see on the inside, it's really nice and glittery. And there is a little bit of glitter picked up throughout, but overall, I'm really pleased with that bowl. I love how it's come out. It's an easy, quick, simple way to make a fabulous resin bowl that actually doesn't take too long at all. They sell really easily. I personally, if I was gonna sell that, for the amount of resin that's gone into it and the amount of work that went into it, I think I would be quite happy with about 25 pounds or 35 dollars. And that would still give me a really healthy profit on this. Check out the video that's coming up at the end of this video. It'll be really, really helpful for you. So go to that one next. Don't forget, if you've not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out my join area and my membership area. And if you feel inclined and you want to help and support this channel and allow me to keep making these projects, then check out the buy me a coffee link in the description below or on the front page of my channel. It, every bit is really helpful and I've got some major big projects coming up soon.